What do you guys think is the dumbest city in America? Yeah, tell me. What y'all think is the dumb? What do you guys think is the dumbest city in America? Chicago. You know Chicago's one of our flagship cities, man. What's wrong with y'all? Let's get started, man. The dumbest city in America, man. Y'all, I still haven't gotten the right answer, man. I still haven't gotten the right answer what the dumbest city in America is, man. I still haven't gotten the right answer. Man, guy ninja in the building. He he close. But we are in Jackson, Mississippi, which has been named the dumbest town in America. Jackson has the largest amount of people with little or no education. <laughs> so is this racist, man? Is this racist to say that? A city that's 84% black is the dumbest city in the country. Press one if you think that's racist, man. Questions are easy, but we are in Jackson, Mississippi, which has been named the Jackson, Mississippi. Dumbest town in America. That's racist, man. Saying the city that's 84% black is the dumbest town in America is fucking racist. Right? According to everything else, right? I mean, if we if we if we play in the same game that they play, I mean, I thought that was the rules, man. I'm confused, man. These little college kids. The city's 84% black, and you're called the dumbest city in America. America. Jackson has the largest amount of people with little or no education. But we ourselves dropped out of school to make funny YouTube videos. So does that automatically make us stupid? To find out, we drove across the country to put the people of Jackson through multiple tests to see if this city is actually dumb or are they just a victim of a stereotype? And to start, we're just going to ask people some basic questions and see how they do. What's your name? I call me Lil Wayne. What's the farthest you went in school? I said I went to uh, eighth grade. I started in eighth grade. Who was the first president of the United States? First president of the United States. It wasn't uh, Molly King, was it? Uh, yeah. Molly King? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and homie, serious. He said they called me Little Wayne. Oh. They call me Little Wayne. He's serious too, man. What's the biggest bird in the world? Like an owl. Name one book. What well, I'm talking about? Just name a book. Just name any book. It's name a book or something. Yeah. Any, any kind of book. Any book, literally, to ever exist. You gonna be? All right, I can't even get a wild guess. I really just don't know. I just can't. Yeah. I, I really don't know. What's the biggest plan? <laughs> in it, literally, in the entire universe. That's easy. Well, I know it ain't Pluto. I said Mercury. Mercury, correct. Yeah. What happened on 9/11? I'm lost there. Who is the president of the United States? I don't know who that is. Oh. Uh, John F. Kennedy? No. No. I don't know who the president is. Huh? What about 36 divided by 6? Ooh, they're going to be 8. Is it, hey, oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, man. I, you made me think like, man, I still know some stuff, man. Appreciate it, man. I think that was probably the most inspired. Questions are easy, but we are in. <laughs> Oh, 
Why would you want to listen? I'm not with the whole black women try to act like white women always try and touch their hair. I'm not with I don't believe that. I think that's a cockamamie bullshit myth that black women have made up. I may be wrong. That white women are just going around always trying to touch their hair. But why would you try to touch my hair in a fucking bathroom if you just finished taking a shit? Like, we in the fucking bathroom. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Do not touch. Salute, bug. Bug off. He says, hey, Op, you should do an interview with Matt and Blonde. I don't know who Matt and Blonde is, man. I'm going to have to look them up. Matt and Blonde. I don't know. They YouTubers? Uh, you know, I, I do an interview with anybody. Oh, you talking about Matt Christensen? Yeah, I know him, man. Yeah, Matt. Is that is that him, Matt Christensen? I know him. Yeah. Is that is that him? Matt Christensen? Yeah, I know him, man. Yeah, man, y'all gotta tell them people, man. I, I listen, man. I don't know how to reach these people, man. Nobody wants to do any nobody wants to collab with me, man, other than y'all. That's why I got we have our own nation, man. Other people. Other people don't want to come over here, man. Pro-blacks don't want to come over here. Other conservatives don't want to come over here. I mean, other black conservative channels don't want to come over here, man. Everybody just ignores me, acts like I don't exist. Press one. All the black conservative channels, the big ones, they... They, they act like I don't exist. All the pro-blacks, they scared to come over here because they know. Listen, man, it is what it is, man. They going to get dunked on. Yeah, man. Salute to the Op Nation, though. That's why, you know, the Op Nation keeps me going, man. Because uh, I think a lot of these people don't have, they, I think a lot of people scared, may be scared because if they, if you get linked up with me, man, it may be too radical. Like, say you got a conservative audience, right? But you're really like, got like a mainstream kind of like I wouldn't say safe conservative audience but I would say a a, a conservative audience that's like yo yeah there's some issues going on out here and you know but I'm saying it's DNA man I'm saying it's DNA <laughs> I'm a, I'm a DNA guy, man. I think a lot of people want to stay away from me, man, because I'm a DNA guy. When you a DNA guy? A lot of I think a lot of a lot of people don't want to don't want to go down that road, and I can't blame them, man. I can't blame them. I can't blame them, man. Yeah. And they're not going to get canceled by YouTube or nothing like that. They don't want to get canceled by their subs because a lot of you got to understand there's a lot of conservative people out here who think that there's a solution to this. Press one. I mean, other than you know, locking criminals up, they think it's a solution to this other than locking criminals up regardless of their race. There's a lot of them, man. They think that there's something else you can do. They think you can, if there was fathers in the home, 
Well, they think that if the black people got in touch with the Lord, man, the black people got got in touch with God. <laughs> Well, if black people made, if black people, um, made better decisions and stuff like that, man. Listen, man, it's, it's DNA, man. It's DNA, man. There's no solutions to this thing, man. No. <laughs> we so arrogant, we think we ignore the past. We think that, like, oh, okay. Well, it's been like this forever, but we're gonna fix it. Nah, man. Sir, some things is fixed, and you can't fix them because they're fixed. I gotta make a shirt out of that. Some things are some things you can't fix because they're fixed. Uh, some things you can't fix because they're fixed. Sun's going sun, tiger's going tiger, patel's going patel, and glider's going to glider. <laughs> Damn, that's a dope rhyme. Sun's going to sun, tiger's going to tiger, Patel's going to Patel, and Glider's going to Glider. <laughs> oh, shit. But don't get me wrong. I like being a side chick because I don't got to deal with all that bullshit. Just fuck me and go. I gotta, you got to keep me happy so I don't tell your girlfriend. So. Where's your dad? Where's your mom? Where is your family? You gonna buy me that Birkin bag? <laughs> you gonna give me that Birkin bag? Don't get me wrong. You can you can go home to your b plan. You can leave here. <laughs> so you don't you don't mind being a side chick? I don't. Well, you can fucking go. <laughs> but don't get me wrong. I like being a side chick because I don't gotta do. Mm. Great me and my friend here. One through ten. I give you like an eight. You. Uh, Sorry, like a five. I like a like one, but you're married too. You're, yeah, you're, you're, like a, you're like a, a five, and you're like a nine. How are you right now? No, okay. What did you rate? Eight. What about a friend? He says he do not like white boys. Does nobody like white boys? I don't date white men. White boy looks good, yeah, but it's just not my type. You know, and they gotta be. <laughs> uh. Shout out to Pamela Anderson. Well, these, these girls are being honest. I believe these girls. I believe these girls. I see it all the time, man. If you're a good-looking son, man, and I'm not saying handsome, you could dress well or you could be muscular. It does. It's not about your face. Or whether your face is a certain chiseled or you look handsome, conventionally handsome. If you dress well or you buffed or you um got that thug energy. Or if you're in another setting and you just got that, you know. If you're in a, like a corporate setting or a, 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 a business casual setting, you know. Or after our lounge setting, you got a suit and tie guy. Sun man, sun man winning out here, man. It is what it is. I be slanging, you know. Oh, oh. Like, what was y'all rate y'all selves? I'm a ten. I think I'm a ten. I'm a ten. Before we go back to Philly tomorrow, she got a track on the white boy. Are we doing this right now? Are you willing to do it? Oh. <laughs> Rate me and my friend here one through ten. I give you like an eight. You um, 
sorry. You're like a five. I'm like, like one, but you're very cute. You're very yeah, you're handsome. Yeah, like you're like a, a five. And you're like a nine. How are you talking right now? No, okay. What did you rate? Eight, eight. What about a crap? He has six feet on like white boys. Does nobody like white boys? I don't think white men. Yeah, white boy looks good, yeah, but it's just not my type. You know, and they gotta be slinging, you know? Oh, oh. what would y'all rate yourselves? I'm a 10. I'm a ten. I'm a ten. <laughs> Before we go back to Philly tomorrow, she got a track on the white boy. Are we doing this right now? Are you willing to do it? Damn. This is sexual assault. He didn't consent to this. This man didn't consent to this. Press one. He didn't consent to this. Yo, he didn't consent to this, man. Yo, this is a violation of his personal space, like a motherfucker. He didn't consent to that. She said she didn't even give him a chance to consent. If he had come up behind her and put his, his, put his, his shit on her on her ass that would have been a, a huge problem a huge problem he didn't consent to anything yeah she checking the goods but god damn like can can a brother get a can a brother get a goddamn um a second to get it up can you give a brother a second to get some get, To inflate it, to, to to get some air in the inner tube. She ain't even give a she ain't even get home your chance to get some air in the inner tube, man. Look at how um, aggressive they are. God damn. Put her funky little, put her funky little coochie on that man. And he didn't even ask for it. Max Kellerman, <laughs> oh Max Kellerman, looking at his <laughs> This is the cookout. You wanted to get invited to the cookout, Max. <laughs> that look when you like, oh shit, man. Black people are fun, though. Black people are fun. You can, you can, you listen, man. A lot of black people are fun. They have fun, man. Black people are fun, man. I'll give them that, man. Oh, there's a dark side to some of that fun, homie. Are you ready for that? <laughs> that same dude hugging you gonna beat your ass one day if you when it's, when it, when your girlfriend tell him that you uh you hit her or you pushed her or you cheated or you did something you disrespected her that same dude with his arm around you gonna fucking clobber your ass one day. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> shit man. Black people fun man. Black people are fun man. We the we we have a lot of fun man.
Wow. We are fun, man. Look at my man. <laughs> out there in rumble well not rumble man the rumble didn't start yeah i think i i was one minute late and rumble didn't start you gotta be like literally on time or rumble and i'm black man so that shit don't work for me man that shit don't work for me man i'm black man i'm black man That shit don't work for me, Jack. 